he came on Cormac, uh, Vladimir Zelensky, in complete defiance to Putin, claiming those those four annex regions as, as Russian, Ukrainian regions as Russian, uh, has actually officially applied to uh, join NATO. Claudia Eliza, he's done more than officially applied. He's applied for expedited membership. And it's important to understand this is what has this is what is being granted to Finland and Sweden. It means that you don't go through the very, very lengthy process of a number of years of producing what they call a map, a membership application plan. Now, can I give my opinion and can we then talk maybe about the likelihood of that happening? Yeah, please. my opinion. My opinion, Claudia Eliza, which I would definitely share with my Ukrainian friends is one. Um, since February, you, you, the Ukrainian army has absolutely proven beyond a doubt, I believe, that they are up to NATO standards, both in terms of their military capability, but also in terms of the civilian democratic um, control and command of their military, which is critical to NATO being an alliance of democratic states. And I know something about this because I worked closely with the reform office in the Ministry of Defence in Kiev when I was out there between 2016 and 18. The second point I would make is, had Ukraine been a member of NATO, Russia never would have invaded Ukraine, pure and simple. There are countries with borders, you know, um, there are other countries like the Baltics um, who have been members of NATO since the late 90s, Russia would not dare, although up to recently the Baltics were very, very fearful and they wondered if NATO would come in. I think NATO has strengthened. And the third thing, um, I think the third thing I would say is that were Ukraine to join NATO, it would, one, make NATO a lot stronger and ultimately would make the world a far safer place. That's my opinion yeah, and that's sure. the opinion of many of my friends. The, um, the reality is, is it going to happen? I'm afraid at the moment is different. Mm. OK, uh, Cormac Smith, always uh, good talking to you. Former advisor to the foreign minister of Ukraine will, of course, stay across uh, what is going